Hello, everyone. Um, I would like to, I'm glad to be here with you. And I have such opportunity to present my research for you. And before I start presenting uh, my previous research about the migration of Sudanese doctors, I would like to thank all Sudanese doctors who participate in this research. Um, so my, my presentation will be about my previous research, which it was about the migration of Sudanese doctors in Ireland. What exactly is the push and the pull factors? The aim of this research is to, to explore the factors that contribute to the decision of leaving Sudan and why they choose Ireland to come and are they going back to Sudan or not. So specifically, what is pushing them out of Sudan and what is pulling them to come to Ireland rather than other countries. There's many factors contribute to the phenomena of migration and maybe Dr. Ogana will speak about it later. But mainly I will just focus on the push factors and the pull factors, which is push factors in the source countries like Sudan and the pull factors in the recipient countries like Ireland. I use uh, cross-sectional quantitative research using online survey and that collected was in 2010. So I collected around 345 emails, but some of them are valid, some are not. So the final uh, valid emails were 276 emails. The participants for this research were 120. Majority of those participants were males. So 93% of those who are working in Ireland on participating in my research were males. But taking consideration that the medical, medical graduate, graduate medical students from in Sudan, 60% of them are females. So are they not migrating or they choose different routes or migration or there's other cultural issues here? The average age were 35 to 40 years old and 100% of them are from North Sudan, so my result is still valid even after the separation of South Sudan. 42 of them are coming from Khartoum region, which is highlight the disparities in Sudan and in terms of development and access to education. Uh, most of them, they support family members in Sudan, average five members, which is um, sometimes people argue about the positive impact of migration on these remittances or money that they send back home and how this could affect positively the economic of their home country. Um, the, the majority of them, 90% 90, 90 of them are studying in Sudan and mainly in two main colleges. If we know that there is 32 or 31 medical school in Sudan, but having the majority are coming from two, which is the two top uh, public universities. So again, it's, there is issue around where is the rest of the medical schools in Sudan? Are they don't migrate or they migrate choosing different routes? Or there is quality, there is something about the quality of their education or access to the health, uh, Irish health system. Most of them, 98% of them, they work in, in Sudan for average four years. And, um, most of them, they work in another country before coming to Ireland. There is many challenges that uh, push those doctors from out, to come outside Sudan. And when they, we ask them about the push factors, how do you rank the factors that lead you, make you decide to go outside Sudan, uh, most of them, they choose the lack of training is the fairest one. The second one is uh, low payment, and the third one is the politics. And uh, when we ask them about the Sudan health system and how they experience uh, the, what they comment, they want to add, there is some factors that around, health, some comments around health system, financial and political. Some they speak about the corruption, about the need uh, a political discrimination, a transparent government. And some speak about the accountability as well, as well as encouraging uh, the training and law income, the low salary, very poor hospital, and all these issues. Some encourage the public-private uh, partnership as a one solution for this problem. However, as I said, close the private sector in healthcare. So definitely the, some, some raise the issue around the regulation of the private health uh, sector in Sudan. The health should be priority, minimal political input, supervision, or training. These are some of the 
the comments from the doctors. Put the right man in the right place. So there is mixed factors, political, financial, and related to health system itself. 65% of them, they choose to come to Ireland because recommended by friends or family member. And some of them as well for easy register as a second uh, cause for choosing Ireland. The post they, they are occupying in Ireland, 11% of them consultant. Majority of them are registrars with 64% uh, six, uh, registrars, 4.6% of them are SBRs. There is SHOs, 23%, and other as well. So they are contributing to the health services in Ireland. But are they happy from this experience? So the, when, when we ask about their perception about discrimination in the work environment, 50% uh, of them said, yes, we have feeling of discrimination from our colleagues and health workers in the, in the hospitals. And some of them even 29% is less uh, uh, from patients. Their feeling of discrimination is really significant. But if we look to the pull factors, when we ask them what incentive, uh, incentives that push you to pull you to come to Ireland, they raise uh, they they rate uh, career development and training opportunities as uh, the fairest one. And uh, so when they have when we ask them about the perception about having equal opportunities like Irish doctors, they said 90% of them they said. Uh, Yes, they feel there's discrimination, and only 9% feel there's no discrimination. So maybe this is the reason behind feeling um, unsatisfied with the training. This is when we ask about the satisfaction of the experience in Ireland, about the work condition, salary, training opportunities, and lifestyle. Generally speaking, they are satisfied with all lifestyle, salary, working condition, except with training opportunities. And this. Maybe from their comments, you could see that they don't feel that they have um, uh, training opportunities beyond if you are not SBR, which is not easy for non-nationals. The, the, it is a stressful job. Some speak about, the, again, the perception about equality and EU and non-EU doctors. It's uh, difficult to have accreditation for your training. You work for a few years, but yeah, you have good training, but there is no certificate to prove that if you are not SBR. So this is, could be, um, some of them, they feel really frustrated by it. It's really service job. I feel unwanted, discriminated against. I will never advise anyone to come to Ireland. Maybe this is extreme one, but uh, some say felt less satisfied and due that for the crisis, for the financial crisis. And as some people said, we used to have good opportunities before, good whatever, but it changed now. Some people raise issues around culture and how they are bringing their children and all this. But um, it is still, there is some positive feedbacks and uh, even as a good beginning for starting the journey and career development, looking for career development outside Sudan, they start with Ireland. And this have maybe, we could be discussed more in the workshops later on if this, the implication of this on the Irish health system. But uh, some are very happy. They have what they missed in Sudan. They have the training they don't have in Sudan. The, some positive things like involvement of patients in decision and their care, freedom of information, and evidence-based medicine. When um, the, this is about the experience of uh, working in Ireland and taking in consideration their, their feeling of, they came mainly for training and maybe they don't have what they come for. So are they going to stay in Ireland or they are moving uh, away? Is Ireland is your last destination? 79% of them said no. And are you going back to Sudan? 89% said yes. But as a doctor, not all of them, 95%. And where are you going to work? In Khartoum. And even in one of the comments, someone said, one of the participants said, and why else? It should be Khartoum. And this is, this is a problem where now the number of doctors who are working now in, in Sudan, 65% of them, 56% of them working in Khartoum. Maybe Dr. Sheikh will speak more about this. And the, the, the inequality of the dis distribution of doctors and health workers in Sudan, it's contribute uh, hugely to the, uh, you know, not bad performance of the health system, but we have this limitation in, in the health care services. So, my uh, 
if you go quickly, that feeling of discrimination and choosing to go to Ireland and all these things. I, uh, mainly the, 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 the things that put them out is the training opportunities from Sudan, and they choose Ireland because it's recommended. And if you see the trends in the, the changing or their uh, feeling about this experience, this might, might, might change. The main um, incentives to work here is for credit development and training opportunities. So is this the one, this is uh, the things that decided, determine their staying in Ireland or not? Those are generally satisfied, the, but uh, training opportunities, as, as, as I said, it, it is a, it's an issue. The migration have some benefits. They support uh, big families. They could be go back with uh, good training. As some mentioned that having good training to help them when they go back to, to, to Sudan. There's limitation for this uh, study because there is a limit, relatively small group uh, of, of doctors and using emails is not the best way. And it's mainly quantitative and it should be qualitative, uh, mixed method, <coughs> quantitative and qualitative, where questions, uh, more in-depth interviews will bring more understanding of these figures or numbers, what exactly, you know, what they mean by discrimination or why, why this perception about this or that. But um, even though it still highlights some factors about what's going on and the need for more research about, about this phenomenon. And this research will definitely will help in increasing the retention rate in Sudan or even make their migration a better experience. The recommendation for is more research is needed to know exactly uh, in-depth understanding for all these factors. And maybe collaboration between Sudan and Ireland could be one of the, one of the good things that may help to improve the, the, or reduce the negative aspects of this migration. Training more health alliance in Sudan because if we, if we, if we focus more just our training on doctors and they migrate, that's one of the things I did forget to put here, is the trust between the, those doctors and the health system. From many of their comments from uh, open-ended questions that they have been asked, they, they raise issue around the health system, the political system, and the transparent of government, the right man, the right system. No matter what is going on with, between the two sides, but I think trust and transparent between the, in that environment will help to increase the retention of those who are working in Sudan and even make it more attractive for those migrant doctors to go back uh, to Sudan. Maybe we need more research in this, how to make this work environment more enabling. And um, thank you. Thank you.